Good morning, Warlanders, and welcome to your guide on understanding how to be a better commander. I am the commander here for Azure Dragon Squad, and we will be heading out in order to full push right at the beginning of the game one of the other team's cores. This is five team battle and the objective is always to destroy at least one enemy core in order to absorb those players onto your team. So I'll be pushing probably right or left here with all five squads and then making a strategic alliance with the team on the other side of us to give us three minutes of safety. Your commander can do a three minute alliance at any point in the game. Sometimes it's better to wait, but I find an early push at the very start of the game often works very well and will lead to a victory in the end. So I'll be playing a cleric here because I have fast build speed for getting up ladders and crafting siege towers and using the special forces style teleporter to bring your entire squad onto wherever you are. This is going to be especially effective at sneaking into the enemy castle, especially at the start of the game, and then summoning your squad into their core to deal some damage before they have time to respond. So hopefully we get a nice matchup here. We're gonna be going for a no death run as always, but this is just going to be taking a look at how to use your command structure, such as issuing commands to your allied squadrons and forcing onto one objective. I think one of the most important tools that a lot of commanders do not use or haven't learned how to use is the diplomacy tool. So I'll be paying special attention to that as we do have strategy cards, which I mean, right now it's still in, uh, it's still an open beta, right? This is absolutely available for free right now on Steam. The link will be below the video description. Right now we're gonna be casting the Hymn of War to give all of these players a very large shield. And then I'll be dropping a speed boost at the beginning of the game right here. An accelerator if I'm not a little body trapped by my allies here. And then we'll be issuing full commands to totally push onto blue. Oh, nope, sorry, I screwed that up because we're green, my fault. Onto red. So they'll all have to kind of readjust to that at this point, but that's all right. So I'm going to have all squads go for the team directly next to us, which is red. And then we'll be forming an alliance with gold more than likely, depending on how many players I see going gold. So there's at least two players on gold pushing our towers and some coming toward mid as well now. So it's nothing too drastic. Honestly, we could probably handle that, but I'm going to give them a little bit of time first here to deal with that. And then I'm going to go ahead and make the strategic alliance with gold. So there is our alliance with yellow set to go. I could also use the strategy card to break that alliance if we wanted to full push yellow just super quickly. As you can see, I, I create ladders very, very fast. I should be able to get all the way up here and into the enemy command room. Hopefully before they notice that we do, it looks like one player coming on the wall. Hopefully that's... Uh... All right, here we go. I'm gonna get inside. I'm gonna drop my teleporter. And this will summon the rest of my squad to me. Hopefully we get it off. It's going to be very close. There we go. Go ahead and come out here and I'll take care of these wizards really quick. Give us some time to breathe. There we go. All the spec ops have landed. Try to get a core down very quick. The first two minutes of the game here. This is looking good for us. This will now absorb the red players onto our team, at least their special forces squadron. Then you get a free kills on all the enemy players. They're all one shot and unable to move for a little while. And then we will be teleporting back to our keep and I will reassess the situation.
How much longer do we have? We have a minute left on our alliance with gold. So I'll go ahead and go over to some of the gold towers and then I'll just be ready to break that alliance and then push gold. And I think that's probably going to be your best chance of winning. So let's take a look. We're going to go ahead and get some green going for, um, we'll put green at a couple of the battering rams over here. We'll get the special forces squadron out on the catapults and then probably a couple more just around mid so we're ready to go as soon as this alliance breaks thankfully a lot of players are building all of the defensive structures oftentimes i do try to do that but in this moment um i'll let everyone else do it just so i can kind of spec ops with the teleporter so now with this we'll go ahead and break our alliance with gold that way they will be off of their defensive footing not really any players around us here There it is, Alliance broken, so we'll be capturing all the keeps, and now I will reposition a lot of the enemies to go for the different elements of their keep. And then we'll get uh, we'll get our defensive squad out to mid. And we'll just get some good map awareness down and keep this pressure on. Haven't died yet, so I'm feeling good about it. We're going to try to get inside and teleport once again. Go ahead and slide past all of these and try to get up the wall really quick so we can summon the squad once again. That would be so fast if we could get two, uh, oh, that didn't work out quite the way I wanted to. If we could get two cores down in just a matter of moments, I'm pretty sure this guy will kill the ladder here, unfortunately. Kind of looks like he missed on his, uh, his lunge attack there. We got a whole squad of players and NPCs at the top, though. We're not going to be able to get up just as yet. There's the catapult already putting work on the gate as well. Going for some guard breaks. A lot of players putting in work here. This is looking good for us on this gold assault. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to get it off. I wasn't paying attention to the minimap, and Strawberry Tartar did bring that down. Probably just saved his core for the moment, at least. Take a look at the map as well. It's looking very, very good for us. Yellows keep getting very low. They took the uh, the back cap there. I'm going to go ahead and swap to my mage to put some pressure on him. There it is, Yellow's core is down as well. We're in such a good position to win this game here at the 13 minute mark. We're gonna be looking to grab the Idols of Cataclysm here in a little while as well. We're gonna get some spreading out going. Let's take a look at what we got. Blue is all over the place here. Probably go for, I wanna say the side would be our best bet here. Maybe get uh, two on that and two on the Ram would probably be a, a good strategy. Get the Special Forces Squad on the Catapult as well. All these extra squads are really going to do a lot of work for us here. You can see how many extra squads we have now is up to two. We have seven total squads. Actually, Azure, a pink is looking very low. I think we're going to swap this over to pink really fast.
Kind of move up everything on the map here in two minutes. We'll have our first idol of Cataclysm spawn. Oh, 10 seconds. So actually at the 12 minute mark it spawns. I thought it was 10. That's looking good. We have so many uh, towers under our control that will likely have access to this first idol. Then let me see. It's actually up at A. So not quite where I want it to be in order to get it effectively. It's over by blue, but I'm going to try to use my teleport ability to get over there very quickly. Hopefully blue is preoccupied and they won't notice that. I'm going to just skip over the objectives here to go for it. It's just such an important map object, especially if it is the meteor shower. Doing the meteor shower, oh, blue picked up pink, so it's now going to be six squads versus seven squads. So we do have a slight advantage at the moment. Here's some blue players. Look like they are going to be going for the idol. Yep, two on my back here. Going to have to fight for it. One's coming up now. This is a robot as well. This is big. Nice icicles from that mage up top trying to get me out of the robot quickly. Unfortunately, I did get killed by a lightning strike right there, but that's all right. We got the robot onto our team's territory, and an uh, NPC did res me, so we we're back up and in the robot. Making some plays here. We're going to be defending. Unfortunately, I'm stuck on something. Going for a little bit of healing here in this AoE circle. And we're pressuring. Teammate has a warp down as well. Blue at 40%. God, this is looking good. The gates at less than half. Yeah, that is looking beautiful. A squad on each siege engine here. Gonna redeploy and take the catapult over just to stop that from having access to that. Probably not particularly necessary, but we're just trying to ensure. There we go. Beautiful play here. Another player coming from blue to mid. I might have to go take all these side blue towers just to stop them from kind of trying to special forces around us. He's coming behind. I'm not going to worry about that too much. I'm going to go ahead and go back to the catapult and probably take Jay. Snail God looking for a warp here. Mmm, a uh, very weird warp right next to the tower. Not a uh, not a conventional warp at all. That's alright, this is looking beautiful for us. We just gotta keep the pressure on. Eight minutes, fairly even game here. Ah, oh, unfortunately, I tried to swap weapons and use the uh, the lunge down, and it did not work out there for me. He is going to get mid here. It shouldn't be that big of a deal. They're not really pushing our main element here, and he's also swapping back to D for the back cap. So I'm going to try to meet him at D, and then I'll push back toward mid. Obviously, the mage is a very good at fighting warriors one versus one. Should be able to get him here with the crows. 
Beautiful one versus one there. That player is really, really good. Excellent 1v1. Obviously, the mage has a pretty distinct advantage. Probably another Cataclysm will be spawning soon as well. There it is. Oh, he got me here, actually, I think. I wasn't paying attention. Nice. Big kill there for us. Picking up Sandur from a distance. Oh, he got us. The crows didn't land on him in time. Beautiful play there with the lunge. Looks like uh, we've got a cataclysm as well going from F to E. So I'll go ahead and move over to E and escort him all the way in to the green. There's a mage as well, which means he's going to be pretty weak. Ladders on the walls of the keep. I'm going to fall back. Should be fine. I doubt it's uh, that big of a deal. It's probably only one or two, but we don't want to let them get in there and teleport like we did to them earlier. That's it. That's actually taken care of. We had some other players teleport back as well. So beautiful plays here from the team. With the Cataclysm coming in here, we're going to probably be able to make very short work of this enemy keep. I'm going to go ahead and swap to Cleric to go for the teleport into the back lines again. There is Lyell with the Cataclysm. It's coming in. This is going to be massive. The sheer amount of damage here. Every single enemy player should die from this Cataclysm. I'm going to go ahead and just go for it. Looks like I'll have time for the teleporter this time. Blue saved themselves some breathing room, but now it is on. Oh, my poor cleric is such a low level. I couldn't really do a lot there, but we got some damage on it. There's three minutes. 50 seconds left, so even if it goes all the way to time, we are ahead here on damage. Player up in the back sniping it as well. Putting in work. Look at all the NPCs chasing him and the players. Blue actually pushing forward here, getting some good objectives. Keeping us back, so I did a pretty good job on that teleporter as well. We might just want to play defensive for the remainder of the game. Not sure if we have enough time to fully destroy the core, but that cat I'm sure that Cataclysm put in a lot of work on the keep. Trying to get some reses off, but the mages are coming in hard right now. Cataclysm appearing as well. Let's take a look at where that's going to be. It's down the line. It actually looks like it's going to be at the blue. That is a robot at blue. That's very bad for us. Here we go, though. I've got uh, my most powerful damage dealer. My tier 4 mage will be coming out in mid to defend here. Here we go. This should be good. Uh, 
Got a ladder on our keep. I'm going to pull back. Got the opposite side that I wanted. A couple inside. Nothing crazy. Looks like they are going to get up, though. Actually, a lot of them inside our keep right now, surprisingly. We go ahead and pressure C to take that back, get the pressure off our back door. They're going for F as well. This could be a very good play for them. minute left this is going to go the time I think one last idol is going to appear I don't think we'll have time to use that at all but it's next to east so I'll go over there and I'll grab it and maybe I'll just drop it immediately on the ground see if I can't get a couple kills around mid they actually picked it up Got the idol, let's go! I'm just gonna drop it because why not, right? That is the end of the match. I hope you guys enjoyed that. The commander has the power of diplomacy, the ability to direct squads around the battlefield, and they're looking to make those high tier plays and be a flexible player moving around and getting things done picking up first on squads here the cataclysm popping off at the end of the match <laughs> let's go a phenomenal match and a pretty even fight considering we were up one full special forces squad over blue there valiant effort but big plays at the beginning. We're only getting player ranking 11th there. Let's see what kind of rewards we get. Not seeing anything. There we go. A nice prestige. Actually, movement speed is going to be big for almost all of my classes, especially my spec ops cleric. So with that, I hope you guys learned something and you're ready to try being a commander yourself. I will see you on the battlefield.